ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Supercars of London and the Ford Fiesta 2015 Ford Fiesta ST overview. Now usually I get given a car for a day or so, like with the Audis, and it never really gives me enough time to get to know the car, understand its purpose, why people buy it, but there was a huge sort of positive reaction when I posted this picture a couple of days ago. When I picked this car up, I'd seen through glass to head down into Monaco with, and over the last few days, really got to know the car. We've both taken it in terms of drive, be a passenger, and I've also got in the back and slept in the back. So we've really used this as uh, more than just a car. And this video is going to use the best bits that we've had in the car, talking about its performance, talking about the sort of equipment you get in this car, and talking about just the best bits, really. Let's start with the interior, the main sort of area that we have been. You do get quite a lot of equipment. Now, I have no idea what's optional and what's not optional, but things like automatic headlights, windscreen wipers, nav, aux in USB, you can plug your phone in, you can charge it. It's got a sat nav. The screen we have touched upon in previous videos, slightly too small probably for what I would like, smaller than my iPhone screen, but again, my iPhone is essentially an iPad. But the way that it's all set out in the interior, really quite cool and quite futuristic, which I was always a fan of the Ford Fiesta. I never really made it clear but every time I saw one, I was like, that is actually quite a cool car. And then inside, it's actually very, very futuristic and very comfortable as well. We've got the Recaro race bucket seats with the two-tone red and black, black leather, red stitching, and it's a, a red sort of material that adds to the uh, sort of sporty effect. And at night time, you also get the red under tray, not under tray, that's not the right word, under lighting or lighting, red lighting. You've got the dials which are red, you've got glove box, you've got center console, bits and pieces of red that make you feel like you're in a bit of a race car. And the overall view and periphery, it's quite a long word for me, is um, very, very impressive. And also this sort of visibility, blind spots, absolutely fantastic. In the rear view mirror, you've got a nice shape. And then this uh, mirror here is actually zoomed in. So you get a good view of all of the cars that are coming up behind you and you get to identify them quicker, which is good for car spotting, I must say. This car is specced in Panther Black paint, which is a metallic paint from Ford. And it also comes in a manual gearbox. It's gonna be really bad of me, but I don't know whether it comes as a semi-automatic. Pretty sure it doesn't. I'm sure this is a, a designed hot hatch race car for the road and it is a lot of fun there is a lot of power available with your right foot and it's also got quite a lot of stopping power as well with the brake pedal also used with my right foot I'm not a racing driver I can't do both the pedals but as we have driven more motorway miles than we have town miles it is safe to say this car is a pretty good cruiser it comes with cruise control which is a must in pretty much every modern day car and sam here who doesn't have it in his 4c has thoroughly enjoyed being able to change gear and, uh, with your hands uh, change gear or change speed oh change speed i meant to say change speed with your hands not gear So getting behind the wheel of the Ford Fiesta ST, you're automatically getting in the fastest ever Fiesta production vehicle. It's super fast, it's got 182 PS, um, which equates to around 185 brake horsepower. I have no idea, I haven't Googled it, and I don't have enough data in France to be able to Google it. So I'm hoping, and I will correct myself in the description box below, if that is incorrect. But it's a 1.6 litre EcoBoost turbo engine Quite a nice tone to it as well, which uh, comes out of the twin exhaust piped system out the back, and um, you also get a really nice turbo wash when you're driving around town. As we were driving through the hills of Monaco, which you would have seen in the vomit challenge, but also in a few clips with throughout this video. Getting that Fiesta ST on the move. Oh man, it's gonna be lols. <laughs> you do get a really nice turbo wash, and it is so fun to chuck around. It's basically like a front wheel drive go kart. I think the steering's absolutely fantastic. It doesn't really un 
understeer or oversteer, but I haven't really pushed it to the limit to be able to get there. So I can't really talk about that because I haven't experienced it. But the reason being is this is the first left-hand drive manual car that I've really driven in quite a long period of time or over a long period of time. I have driven one manual left-hand drive before and it was an A-Class when it first came to the UK and that was actually on a test drive. I didn't film it at all. So to get in this car and have to change gear with my right hand rather than my left, it's going to be very strange going back into the UK, driving on the other side of the road, but also driving on the other side of the car. The last thing to talk about in this overview, all-round opinion, first impressions of the Ford Fiesta ST is the fuel economy. Now, this has obviously got the 1.6 EcoBoost engine, and I'm a real sort of fan of fuel efficiency, saving the earth, which is why I'm driving the um, V8 4.2 litre R8. <laughs> and um, so I always take into consideration how good this car is, is on fuel. The one thing that I'd say is I haven't really explored the trip information here, but there doesn't seem to be that much information where as opposed to my car, I'm able to get live MPG, average MPG, current sort of fuel range that I've got, things like that that aren't really available immediately at my disposal which isn't a bad thing but we have done from Paris down to Monaco and back five tanks of fuel and I think this fuel tank is around 45 to 50 litres big or large however you want to finish that sentence so I have no sort of mathematic capabilities to work out the MPG based on five tanks of fuel. But it's around 250 litres of petrol. I'll just put my foot down now. It's got endless power and torque. Three and a half thousand revs in sixth gear. It's so nice to have a sixth gear. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't have a sixth gear. My Vauxhall Astra only had five gears and every time I was doing 70 miles an hour I was hanging at about 4,000 rpm which made my fuel economy absolutely atrocious so it's great that this car has a sixth gear and also complemented with the eco boost it becomes a fantastic little run around whether you want to drive it around town or whether you want to take it on a hood around the Monaco Formula 1 track which unfortunately we didn't get to do because the traffic was just so ridiculous so unfortunately we didn't get to take it around the Formula 1 circuit but it would have been interesting to find out how quickly this did a circuit. I did ask Prince Albert but unfortunately I think Lewis had priority over the track or really Nico Rosberg did because Lewis got absolutely had by his own team. Shot up! <laughs> well, I'm a Lewis fan as well, I'm just saying that Lewis got completely mugged off. So ladies and gentlemen that is the overview of the baby Ford hot hatch and I think I'm really looking forward to getting behind the wheel of the new Focus RS which fingers crossed is coming very soon, it's got a drift button um, and I'm hoping to get really cool access with that and as well the flagship Ford performance vehicle, the Ford GT is coming to the UK very soon and I hope to be there with my camera when it lands so stay tuned for that but as from this car we're approximately an hour away from giving it back so um, it's sad times I've got to know this car very well and um, it's definitely got a space in my heart for being such an awesome hot hatch and also making me throw up thanks to Sam and his erratic driving through the hills of Monaco but that's it for now thank you for watching I hope you guys have enjoyed this whole series of my epic Formula One weekend down in Monaco and um, that is definitely the first weekend for the Formula One Grand Prix but not the last. I'm going to be back next year, the year after, the year after. I'm going to try and make it an annual thing. So the windscreen wipers are going now because it's starting to rain. Just does things for you, this car. I'm going to put it in cruise control and let the car drive for me now. See you later, guys.